Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we caught Kyogre and made her way to ground, and then, oh Jesus Christ, Kyogre... I mean, Groudon took the cake for worst legendary ever. In this episode, we're going to hopefully catch this guy. And since my entire team's above level 70, I won't have the same luck that Fisher had against me for uh, sheer cold. Yeah, I remember in the uh, last episode when I cut away after I cut Groudon. I'm like, as long as it doesn't have sheer cold and hydro pump, I'll be fine. Well, well, they're sheer cold, but since I'm two levels higher than you, you can't affect me with sheer cold anymore. Let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit. I want to try to get to the point where I uh, throw some music on. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go with Sky Uppercut here. Kyogre's got good special stats. Special attack and special D. Alright, how much damage will this do? Just over half. Go ahead and speed that up, Giga Drain. Oh god. Okay, keep using Sheer Cold, please. Alright, please don't do too much damage. I don't know if I can get away with another one, actually. Yeah, I have no idea if I can get away with another one, so... Red Spore. Alright. Now this is where I'm going to uh, start to speed up, simply because of the fact that Kyogre knows Double Edge, which causes recoil damage. He's already used three Sheer Colds, so in two more Sheer Colds, I'm basically going to have free turns just go away. So anyway, see you guys in a second. Yes! Whew! That was significantly less annoying than I thought it would be. I mean, admittedly, did KO Quick Beam. But, see Basin Pokemon. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. You don't get a nickname. You weren't as annoying as Kyogre, so you don't get, like, Ass Hat number two or anything. Although, I'm not sure, but I think Rayquaza may earn 
or not fun. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and edit it because I don't know how long this is going to take after it's sped up. So, I will see you guys either at Pacific Lodge Town on my way to Rayquaza, or if there's not a lot of time, I'll tell you how to find Latios, and I'll cut away until I've found Latios. So, give me one second. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, off screen I went ahead and I had to fight a bunch of trainers, rematch them for uh, money, but I did buy enough coins to get Thunderbolt and uh, Ice Beam back, so that's nice. And plus, Seltzer grew two levels, yay! I forgot to put away Glass Sire. Alright, now that Glass Sire is safely back where he belongs, where I'll never use him. God, I wish you could run on these things. Uh, if I can't get to Rayquaza in seven minutes, I'm going to have to end the episode off, because I don't really want to start Rayquaza with 13 minutes left in the episode and have it be a 20 minute long episode, so I'm going to go around all these fools. This guy's on a clock, I think. No, he's not, so skip. This lady is going to come back up soon. Okay, she's going in squares. So, in a- ooh, got it. Nope, oh, nope, it's this way. Anyway, uh, in order to get to Rayquaza, you're going to need the mock bike now. After he's awakened, you'll notice that this place may look a little different. And this is why I... it's not... it doesn't take... it's not a very large amount of space, but you notice how there are a lot more boulders in the ground now? Yeah. Ooh, look at all this! Let's just try running through it. Nope! This is why you need the mock bike. If you don't go across these fast enough, oh, I didn't register it. If you don't go these fast enough, then you will fall down, and the acro bike is too slow. So, all right. So, unfortunately, this thing is hard to control. Oh crap! I'm trapped. I don't think there are any Pokemon in here, though. That's a, a good thing. So, oh no, I was wrong. Level 36 clay doll, which you know, not bad, but. I just gotta try to avoid having to use too many of my repels here. Oh yeah, I also burned the rest of my money on Ultra Balls, so... So you gotta be careful here, so... And then you go across here. You wanna make sure to always scout the area out first, so you'd see, um... Going... Up and to the right and up really fast would be my best bet. Because it's nice and straightforward, so... Oh, damn, not enough speed. Uh this is why I don't like trying to get to Rayquaza. It requires much frustration. If I'm still having trouble with this, I'm probably going to use save states. God damn it. Yeah, if I mess that one up again, I'm just going to use the save state. Because after that, it just gets too irritating. So... There we are. Whoops. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> See how much time I'm saving you guys? There we are. God! Yeah, the this bike is annoyingly difficult to control. There we are! Alright, go ahead and save it here. Oh, yeah, this is one of those rooms that doesn't have one. Anyway, up in this coming room, there's actually uh, those two spots right in the middle there. You have to fall down one of those two. If you fall down either of the other two, you will not get to the point where you need to be. As a matter of fact, if you fall on, fall on this one, you gotta do everything over again, so... I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, jeez. Just trying to scout, I fell. Oh, jeez. Ah. You have to try to turn in the middle and go straight, and then go up, I think. So... Damn. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I had it too! This would be so annoying on a handheld. Oh, you have to try to get that one up. Alright, so... Gah. Why? Alright, let's try this again. Damn it, I had it too! I just hit up way too early. You know what, let me... Save the state there, so that way the bike music doesn't cu constantly cut in and out. Alright, so... Ah, too far! Alright, and then... Damn it! There we are, now the bike music won't cut out every time. Damn! 
Ah, uh, almost had it. This area is really annoying. Not enough speed, really? Uh. Oh, wow, I thought I would screw that up for sure. Who's calling me? Ah, uh, screw that, it's from Michigan. I don't know anyone from Michigan. There we are, got it. And then you go up here. Who knows, I might have enough time to actually start it. Oh boy, Raquel's effects wore off. There. And up here. Aha! Here we are! Let me go ahead and save it real fast. Four minutes and 32 seconds. I think I can afford to have the episode run on a slight bit longer. Hey, dude! Please don't miss. Please don't viciously kill me. So yeah, this episode might run a little long. I think I can get him down to uh, health that I can safely try chucking balls at him from, but I'm not sure how long it'll take me to catch him because he knows fly, which means Braylon can get quad hit. He knows outrage, which means that Katsushima can get hit pretty hard, and then the other attacks I think it knows rest and something else, but let's go ahead and see if Ice Beam will KO him. Extreme speed, oh jeez. This might actually kill Kumugui since Rayquaza has good attack. Oh no, I forgot. Kumugui apparently has good defense. I mean, this is quite effective, but Rayquaza's got great stats, so... Starting over? Alright, we are back, guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully this won't take too long, because I think I can get him to the point where I can start checking balls before the end of the video. But I'm not sure if I can actually catch him in a timely fashion, but anyway, here's hoping he doesn't viciously murder me and laugh at my corpse when I'm dead, and then eat me. Anyway, I think Ice Beam will KO him since he's quad weak, so I'm probably going to go psychic here. I'm gonna try to weaken him up and then s switch to Breloom and try to get Spore off before he does that. And I didn't buy any battle items, did I? I should have tried to buy some battle items. Yes, I should have. Oh well. What am I gonna do here? Since I don't want to hit him with Surf, there we are. How much will this do? Jesus, a critical hit. Let's weaken him a little bit more. There is one good thing about this, is Metagross is, um... <coughs> Sorry about that. Metagross- oh, Jesus. Hi. Metagross is actually strong against all of his attacks, so... I don't know if Braylon will outspeed him, but I think he can take an Outrage. Braylon will not outspeed him. Well, at least he will take an Outrage. Go ahead and throw a Hyper Potion out there. And he's asleep, so... Oh, jeez. Now, he's part flying, so this shouldn't do too much. Please don't do too much. Please don't do too much. Okay, good. Alright, it's time to cut out until I can start checking balls, so let me get my timer out of here, and I will see you guys in a second. You gotta be kidding me! I didn't even need to speed up! How the hell did that happen? Not questioning it. Holy hell, not questioning it. You know what? You get a nickname. You get a freaking nickname. Ah, oh, Jesus. How am I getting this lucky? There's this little thing called the Recording Curse, I'm not sure if you guys heard of it, but basically it's like the Murphy's Law of Poke of LPers. While you're recording, anything that can go wrong will go wrong simply because of the fact that you are recording and you have to talk over it. And if you weren't recording, you would do so much better. For Pokemon games, it's usually critical hits, bad luck capturing, but holy crap! Kyogre and Heart Gold, and now... Rayquaza? Uh. Now, if only I can find Latios really easily, uh, that's gonna be a tough one since I have to scour the entire land. Anyway, at the start of the next episode, it will be the battle with Kyogre. Not Kyogre. I keep saying that. I keep mixing up these legendaries. 
It'll be the battle with Latios, because you have to roam the entire world to find him, and it's really annoying, but... That's when I'll start the next episode, and then after that we're gonna start the Gym Leader rematches, because... Since the Gym Leader rematches have been available, I've been playing for about 20 hours or so. And still, the only three available are Watson, Tate, and Lee Sin Juan. So, I'm gonna do these three in the hopes that an, uh, another one pops up, and then I'll do that one. And then I'll do the other four in the next episode after that, and then we'll do the final episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like for that epic first Ultra Ball capturing of Rayquaza. Jesus Christ. And, as always, guys, take care.